for the inspirations for the film itself, um, I actually um, was actually looking through a lot of comedies, um, a lot of Hollywood comedies and stuff like that. And I actually found that one of the more appropriate um, comedies that could sort of relate my um, girl phobia to uh, would be perhaps uh, Apple of My Eye, which is actually an Asian Taiwanese um, dramedy. I thought I could use that as a reference, so I tried giving all, all, all that flares and stuff. So yeah, I just I began to like develop my my own style, gifting, giving it like a like just trying to combine like high contrast and all these style of special effects. <laughs> Everything that you did, um, including um, putting the story together, um, finding the right actors and the whole angle of the film, it had to be very light-hearted, it had to be very easily digestible by viewers. Okay guys, I want you to position yourself this way, and girls, your left hand on the right shoulder. Are you okay? We created this character called Brian. He is afraid of girls, and he he recently moved into this new school, which is a co-ed school. So obviously, that's gonna bring him a lot of challenges because half of the students there are like girls. Okay, I play Brian. Uh, he's a teenage student, and the very interesting thing about Brian is that he is scared of girls, and <laughs> which is so interesting. Now, in a boy, he's scared of girls. Uh, and to make matters worse, he gets transferred to a new school, so a totally new environment uh, with new girls. But then, the first day of school, he meets this pretty girl, right? Hi, I'm Heather. Hi, my name is Cheryl, and I play Heather. And she's basically the object of affection. She's the epitome of perfection in, in Brian's eyes, basically. She's the only girl that, 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 that he wants to be with, but scared to be with at the same time. So it's a very conflicting emotion, which is fun to do. Um, and then he also meets another girl. Well, Jo is someone who just minds her own business and that was before she met Brian. And one fine day when this nerdy guy like kind of stumbled into her life, she starts to realize that, you know, um, maybe everything is not always about her and she starts to learn uh, throughout the process. Like, in, in my opinion, I think that she probably started to realize that, you know, hey, she actually has the ability to make friends with someone. <laughs> this girl is pretty special also because he is not scared of her. Because she, as he says, she kind of acts like a guy. So Joe finds him interesting because Brian didn't uh, didn't show that it was a pushover when the class bully was trying to bully him. So that attracted her to him as a friend. As a friend. A turn of, some turn of events, she tries to help him get over his fear of girls so that he can dance with Heather properly in, for, for the dance competition and that will piss off the bullying class who likes Heather and yeah, so it's a win situation for Joe and it will be a win situation for Brian also because then he gets to dance with the girl that he likes. Hi. I'm Maximilian. You can call me Maximilian. Okay, my character is Maximilian. He's a strong, powerful individual in the school. Okay. It's a lot of power. A lot of people follow him. And, well, he starts off really powerful and confident. Then there's a new threat, which is Brian. For Maximilian, um, I would think something along the lines of the, the jock and breakfast club. Only, only more 
you know, overbearing and more bully than a hero. I do think that the cast actually um, was surprisingly um, accommodating, very fun and very nice to be around. So actually I felt, you know, they, the first time I met them I really thought that I was really happy to, to realize that, oh, these are the people that I will be working with for the next two weeks and I was, it was actually really nice watching them um, perform and interact together because it really feel like it really felt like they were putting my they were bringing the film to life. Carol, G, and Idris. Uh, I mean, I think all three of them are very fun people generally. In terms of cast members, everyone was basically great. Um, there was only like four main casts, so when when it comes to the four of us, it was easy to work with everyone because everyone's just like, oh yeah, and then and then. It, it, there's no pressure of like, I'm awkward with you, you know, so it's easy to work with everyone and I was very comfortable. I was surprised, like when I first came in, I said, oh, these are my cast members, like they all look like they were really good, uh, you know, they all look like professional people, I mean like, uh, they, they've done, we've got a few like, films under their belt, I'm kind of new to this, so I was very surprised, I was intimidated at first, but they were nice, they gave me pointers and all that and they were... Very pleasant to work with. The irony is that I actually feel the most comfortable with Idris. Maximilian. It's weird, right? <laughs> like, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I think because like we both like music or something, or I don't know, for some unknown reason. As compared to previous films, I honestly face a lot of challenges because previously we didn't really have to look for sponsors in our previous films. Our budget was significantly smaller. In addition, um, it's the first time I've been involved in a film project for such a long period of time. Because usually um, we can finish everything about two weeks, two weeks max. Well, whereas for this one, almost six months. So, but it's every day you breathe and live your projects. I think everybody just wanted to do a good job. So maybe there were just times where you know it just take a long time to set up. But that's very understandable because I mean you want to have a good shot and make sure that all the shots are, are done well and put the actors in a proper place where they can perform the best. I just hope that everyone really enjoys it because I mean it's in the end it's still just a light-hearted comedy uh, coming of age kind of story and um, I mean everyone worked really hard on this project the actors the cast the crew and everything Everyone just worked really hard and I, I mean so many people helped with the project, you know. Um, I just hope that the viewers enjoy it. Uh, a lot of student films are serious and they're pretentious. A lot of big words and, and, and dark tones. But this film, it's fun, it's bubbly, it's, you know, it's funny, it's light-hearted and I think it's a refreshing change. And it's the first time that any of us actually did a comedy so that's a very interesting experience for us. So. Do look forward to it. It's a fun film. It's comedy. And uh, where else in the world can you find a film about someone who's scared of girls? I mean, I've never come across a film or a show or anything, anything like that. So I think it's very fun. I put in a lot of effort for this film. You better watch it. I have the first and the last say in the film. So you better watch it. Uh. Well, um, this film was actually made to be entertaining. And so naturally, I hope you'll be entertained. Okay, so I would like this film to sort of provide a little getaway for, for you guys, um, even if it's just for 20 minutes. Okay, to just sort of um, be free from all your stresses and just enjoy the film for the entertainment, entertainment value that it has.